Well, welcome guys. This is the Kingsman Baking Challenge. Now the idea is we've got to decipher your characters from the bakes that are put in front of us. It's up to you, us, to decide who's who and what's what. Okay. We are the first independent intelligence agency. Refined but brutal. Civilized but merciless. The Tsar's nanny informs me of Rasputin's weakness for sweet cakes. Polly, get baking. Yes, and don't forget the poison. The first one. Mm. Ooh. Obviously, we have three. Um, and this is all based around one character. Would you like to take it? piece yourself on one of those three. So if you try to have a little nibble of some of them, I'm going to start with the chocolate. Now tell us, Paul, what is in the Bakewell tart? What makes a Bakewell tart a Bakewell tart? Traditionally, there's almonds, raspberry jam, yeah. a sweet pastry, and then you'll have um, an icing on the top. Right. That's traditional. So almonds and raspberry jam are the stars of the show, can't yeah, they? Yeah, right. absolutely. Very nice. Very good. Now you've got cherry, you've got a cherry kick in that as well. Yeah. Which hints at very much a, a Black Forest gatto. Yeah. Mm. Bavaria. Bavaria, Germany. Mm, yeah. Bavaria. The first hint. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now you have the next one, which is a slightly tanned one. <laughs> I've eaten all of them, sorry. <laughs> Can you taste honey in that? Honey, yes. Now, again, there's a hint because Medivic is a Russian cake used with honey. So, ah. obviously, very traditional in St. Petersburg. You've got the Russian and then your German hints. I think we can all guess what this one's going to be. Oh, this one better be very, very English. Raspberry jam. You've got the almonds. It's the classic. So that's the classic oh, bake that, one. That, that rings yummy. a bell, yeah. It does, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So yummy. I think we can surmise that this is, of course, Tom, yeah. your this character This is the three the characters. Kings. Yeah. Great. How do I play? I would never have thought of them in terms yeah. of cake. I think your characters are amazing in, in the movie itself. Thanks. I think playing those three roles to represent them in Bakewell Tart is pretty unique. Well, it's just very clever and delicious. <laughs> the second one, here we have it. Now, this is a little bit more, I wouldn't say messy, I would say informal. So would you like to take a slice of this? And you get your gnashes in these. Ooh. This is. Um, oh, that's dangerous, dangerous. It is. Now, <laughs> yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah. Volatile. It, this is, looks more like the classic one. You have the cherries, which are soaked slightly in vodka. Right, ah, just a little hint. Vodka. And it's a strong mm, well almond flavour. And of course, what, mm. what does that classic poison smell like, mm. taste like? Cyanide, yeah. So That's this would be... A great way of hiding it. Rasputin's cake. Yeah, it would be Rasputin's because obviously the almond's in there. If yeah, you're going to yeah. put cyanide, you put it in a Bakewell tart. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it's the um, last tart I ever eat. It's gorgeous, yeah. It's a nice yeah, it way to go. It. Thanks. Yeah. It's delicious. Um, delicious. It is yummy. Mm. Really nice. I like that. So this is Rasputin's cake. Yes. Well, Rasputin mm. did um, eat, have a, he microdosed, if you like, um, cyanide. To me in. <laughs> Um, every, every day he'd have it, so when, when an attempt was made on his life, he'd be immune to it. Notoriously impossible to kill. But uh, the other thing about Rasputin is he, is he was famously, uh, he had zero table manners, basically. Uh -huh. And he would always go for the biggest piece and, and, you know, he would tear meat off the bone. And people would come and, you know, high society would come and watch him eat yeah. because it was, it was quite, um, quite a show. It's very good. Mm. Very English. Yes, very English. Okay, and our last Aww. tart is obviously, that is very pretty. It's quintessentially British in its appearance. And it looks amazing. Look at that. It's beautiful. Would you like to try a, a piece? Go on. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Now again, that is beautifully classic. Mm. The, although you have a, a little jelly running down the middle, mm. which is slightly different, but it's got a tea flavour to it. And again, there's a strong hint of uh, English tea about this as well. Mm. Should we try it? Mm. I'd have a couple of slices of that, I reckon. Mm. Oh, do you know what? That Very might sweet. be my favourite. Yeah. Mm. Like you said, because mm. the great thing about having tea in it is tea is what you'd have with a cake yeah. like this. So Absolutely. It kind of... Um, 
This is obviously pointed directly towards you, Gemma, and your <laughs> character of Polly. Yes. Um, it's yes. classic. It looks amazing. It's very neat, Absolutely. tidy, and uh, very English. A bit spiky around the edges. A bit, yeah. yeah. I was imagining, actually, that it might be a bit sort of punchy when you eat it, it's more, but it's more delicate inside, it's, actually. Mm. Why is it that boys are always so messy? I think we've managed to successfully pick all the characters, at least. Should we raise our glasses to the Kingsman? Oh. Yes. To the Kingsman. To the Kingsman. Manners. Meekest man.